Hey guys, it's Adia here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fall decor haul. Yay! So recently, over the last couple of days, I was able to go out and pick up a few little things. I went to, um, for the first time, Hobby Lobby, so I'm super excited about that. But real quick before I jump into the video, um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do click that little red be button below so you will be updated whenever I post a new video. Okay, let's get into this haul. This time around when I was um, shopping for decor, um, I was very particular about what I wanted to get. You probably can see like the fall decor. This is the, some of my old stuff that I have out. I was looking for something kind of neutral um, and more importantly something that can be intertwined with some of my regular decor so I will be able to use it over and over again. I really don't have that much regular decor. I'm like really plain. Like the only time I um, decorate is during the holiday season and fall. But I want to start to get into more decorating so I want to make sure I bought pieces that I could specifically rotate and use with a lot of different things. And I'm finding that my style is a mix between contemporary and modern. Um, and I know modern is kind of like con well, more contemporary pieces with a mix of vintage like kind of used looking pieces, a lot of woods and things like that. So I bought a mixture of all those things. So let's just jump into the things that I got. So I will start with at home first. I only got two things from at home. So I'll show you real quick. I got some, I believe these are called candlestick holders. So I got this, these candlestick holders. I got this large size and then I got this small size just to kind of give some height and some depth. And what I really like about it is that they have like this kind of old used look to them, if you can tell. And the small one was $9.99 and the bigger one was $12.99, which was a steal of a deal because I saw these same ones at Hobby Lobby. And at Hobby Lobby, this one was $15.99 instead of $12.99. But I really, really love these. I love that kind of old vintage kind of old looking well used looking items so those are the two things i got from at home and that is all i got now i don't know if it's the same thing in your state i live in michigan but it seems like it's really hard to find things in store it's completely impossible to find stuff online but to find things in store i felt like they didn't really have a large selection but it's probably because of COVID, so beggars can't be choosers. So the next thing I got is from um, Marshalls. Yes, Marshalls. And I got this tear tray from Marshalls. It's a two-level tear tray. And it is more of a, I don't know, what they call this? Um, I forget what the name of this is. A galvanized tear tray. Um, at first, I didn't think that I wanted it. Um, because it was galvanized, but this tear tray will most likely go in the kitchen next to the coffee machine. And I thought that, um, or next to my Keurig, I thought that would be good because most of my, um, most of my appliances are stainless steel, like even my microwave. So I thought that it would match and it's like wood on the bottom. I thought this was really cute and it was only $14.99. You have to go, if you got a Marshalls or TG Maxx, like they have all types of treasures in there because this um regular price was oh well, it was like 22 dollars regular price but it was a deal i got some money off so i got this from marshall's i went to hobby lobby hobby lobby um i got a few items from hobby lobby um it was the first time i've been there and i absolutely fell in love with it they had so many good deals at hobby lobby um I couldn't exactly find everything I was looking for since I made a list of things and I was looking for specific things versus just going in there going buck wild and crazy and buying everything I saw. Um, I was kind of limited on the things that I saw that I actually was looking for but I wanted a tray for this back table right here so it's pretty large now I'm thinking I don't know if I got enough stuff to fill it up but I got this 
tray and I think it's really cute. It's just like a kind of a square tray. And the good thing about it is I can put candles on here. So that's awesome. And it's like a used, it has a very used look to it. Like right here, it has a very worn look to it as you can see. But I thought this was really, really pretty. It is a regular, it was $29.99, but I got it, um, I paid like $17.99 for it because I had a 40% off of regular price item coupon. So I was really excited about that. Okay. All their fall decor was 40% off. Not the trays, but like their actual fall decor. And I got some more um, pumpkins and squash and leaves and um, acorn. No, these aren't acorn. Pine cones. I thought that was really cute. Good squash. Because the tones I'm going with are just neutral. So they're like greens and creams and um, I think a little bit like of a mustard yellow. So I try to stay in that family. It's very neutral. But I thought this was cute. And it was $11.99. was 40% off of that. So. so I needed a wreath. A wreath. And I didn't want anything that was too like overly saturated with pumpkins and things like that because I feel like I have enough pumpkins going on and I wanted something a little bit more on the I guess rustic you would say so I got this this kind of wreath and this is a what kind of wreath is this called I don't know what this is called but it's just wooden sticks kind of prickly and I thought that this would be cute for like a DIY type of wreath and this was $8.99 and the jewelry that I got to kind of like wrap around it, I was thinking I got this right here. And this is a flowering, a flowering garland. I don't know what kind it is. So it smells good. But I liked it because of its shade. It's like a little greenish brown. It kind of looks like, it almost kind of looks like, you know, like when leaves are starting to start start to change their colors from like that green to that brownish it kind of looks like that a little bit so I thought that I would put this around the wreath has some greenery so I really really like this this was $15.99 with 40% off that is all I got from Hobby Lobby and the rest of the items I got was from Target I got this from the dollar section and it's just a regular kind of like white little board that I probably could hang up somewhere or if I really wanted to I could have used this as a tray like my um, first thought was to use it as a tray but I actually ended up ordering another tray online from Target because they didn't have it in store anymore I'll try to put a picture of it over here somewhere but it's like the tree stump kind of tray but I have this so I can hang it somewhere I don't know where I would put it, but I do have this, and this is five dollars. The next thing I got, cause like I said, I'm like this like wood slash galvanized type thing uh, style going on. So I got like this little galvanized um, light up barn, and I thought it was really cute. And let me turn it on. Isn't that pretty? I think this would be really pretty on the tray at night just to add a little sparkle so I was really excited when I found this little tray for my dining room table I know I wanted like a what do you call it it's not a tablescape is it would it be a tablescape I'm not really sure would that be considered a tablescape or like an arrangement on the table on my dining room table so since my table is round, I kind of felt like I couldn't really do a runner. Like, I was trying to find examples on how to do like a round table. Like you know if you have a longer table you can do a runner. But I thought that would look a little funny on a round table. So I decided that I'm going to do like a centerpiece type thing or maybe like a tray with some stuff on it in the middle. And then I'm going to have um, place settings, placemats 
on the table so these are the ones that i found that i really really liked i got these from a target like i said and they were $5.99 piece and i got four of these to go on my table they smell kind of weird too i don't like this smell. okay and the very last thing that i got from target was a new throw blanket i needed a throw blanket but i wanted like a little pop of color especially since i haven't really been able to find any decorative pillows that i really really liked i would have a couch full of pillows if i could but i just really wasn't finding any colors that were in my color scheme like i found a lot of orange or burnt oranges and yellows i probably could have did a yellow but i couldn't find any like greens or creams i have enough gray um but my pop of color is my throw blanket and i got this really cute throw blanket it's really nice and furry and i got this from target and it's the brand thresholds and i paid 16.99 for this and it's so soft and it's so comfy and i can't wait to take it out and just decorate guys that concludes my little uh fall decor haul if you guys once again i like this video and again if you've never seen my face before please Click that little red button below so you'll be updated whenever I post a new video. And make sure you subscribe because I will have a video coming out on how I kind of set up everything um, and my approach and my take to it this year. It's completely different from what I did yet last year so I'm really excited about that. And if you made it to the end of the video, you are a rock star and I love you and thank you so much for watching. Okay. I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye.